Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. We're doing free code camp algorithms again, and we are in the JavaScript algorithms and data structures projects section. And the one that we're going to be looking at today is called Caesar's Cipher. So let's check this one out. Let me read the directions for us real quick. It says, one of the simplest and most widely known ciphers is a Caesar cipher, also known as shift cipher. In a shift cipher, the meanings of the letters are shifted by some set amount. A common modern use is the ROT 13 cipher, where the values of the letters are shifted by 13 places. Thus, A becomes N, B becomes O, and so on. Write a function which takes a row 13 encoded string input and returns a decoded string. All right, all letters will be uppercase. This is key. This is important. Do not transform any non-alphabetic -alpha characters, i.e. spaces or punctuations, but do pass them on. So that's important too. All right, so let's just go over what we're doing real quick. We have a cipher, an encrypted string, and we want to decode it, right? So instead of going right by 13 places, we're actually going to get this and make it go left. By 13 places and only the capital letters we only have to concern with ourselves the other letters such as a space we just pass it along in the code right so let's first bring this over here guys if you haven't tried this code out yourself please pause the video now please try it on your own and then come back to the video uh i will show you guys my own way of how to solve this so pause the video now all right so if you're watching this i'm hoping and assuming that you guys have already tried this. So before we go on, let's talk about a couple of things first. So one of the things that I'm thinking about is a character code. So what is a character code? Every string has a character code associated with it, which is actually a numeric, a number quantity. And how we grab each character code is, for example, this. Let's say we have... Um, Hello here. If you want to grab the character code, we use this uh, string method called from car code. Or no, actually, I'm sorry. It's actually car code at. Car code at, and we pass in an index of, of the string, which car code, uh, which character we want the code of. So if, we, if I want the capital H, and yes, lowercase and uppercase have different codes, I would do car code at index zero. And that will give me whatever that was. So let's actually try that out right now. Hello. And let's console log the result of this. I want to see what the character code of H, capital H, is. If I run the code, I get 72. If I do A, like A loom, and then I try to get the character code, capital A is 65. And if we do B, it's 66 and so on. So we're going to use that. And then we're going to use that to shift it to the left 13 uh, spaces, right, for this. Um, another thing we, uh, another thing that we have to know for this question is how to, once we have a character code such as 55 or 65 or whatever, let's use 65 for now, which is we know is capital A, how do we convert that back to a, a string representation? And the way that you do that is you use capital string dot from car code and you pass in the character code. And if we do that, we get the capital A back. So these are the two functions that we are going to be using today to solve this problem. Uh, now, let's try this. So what is my goal? I'm going to first declare a variable called the output. And this is where we're going to be feeding the answer to this question. Let's say, uh, erase this annoying comment here. And I'm going to loop through each characters in this string by using a for of loop. And if we are dealing with a capital letter, uh, then I will push it left by 13, by 13 numbers. And by the way, we also have to keep this in mind. What if the, the letter that was here was B? Then if we shift that to 13 letters, we go past A which is the beginning, right? So we got to account for that too. So then if that happens, we want to add 26 back because there's 26 characters in the alphabet so that we could start from Z and then keep on subtracting from there. Does that make sense? So we kind of like go around. So we got to make sure we do that. If we got to make sure that if we are past a non-alphabetic character like such, we just pass it along the code. So let's try that right now. We can do, let's return, get rid of this return. For const C of string. 
we're doing a for of loop where C represents all the characters in the string. So I'm first gonna check to see if the character is not an alpha, alpha a capital alphabet character. There's an easy way to do this by doing if, um, <laughs> if uh, to check to see if it is an alphabet character, we could do this. Uh, C is greater or equal to capital A, and C is less than or equal to capital Z. So this is checking to see if it is an alphabet, uh, alpha, capital alphabet character. And if we want just a not version of that, put a parenthesis there and put a not negation operator. But this, you know, uh, we have tools for a reason. So there's this thing called regex. Hopefully you guys are familiar with it. Regular expressions It's a pattern matching spring. So we could use that. And I think that reads better in this situation. So uh, to check to see if a character is within capital A and capital Z to use regex, we always put two forward slashes because that's how we denote that we're using regular expression. And we just put bracket, square bracket, we say A to Z. And then with this regular expression, we use the JavaScript's built-in test function, and we're testing our character against it. It will be true if this is the case, if it's in, inside these range, and it will be false otherwise. And we wanna see if it's not in that range. So if it's not in that range, what do we wanna do? We just wanna append to our output, our character value, we're just passing along. Else, we want to do our little conversion, 13 conversion here. So let's do this. I want to get the character code of uh, sh of the current character that we're dealing with. So let code equal to, and how do we grab the character code of this uh, single letter string here? We just do C, card code at, and because we're, we have to pass in an uh, index, uh, and this is only a one length string, we could just do zero. It's always gonna be at a zero of index, right? So now that we have the code, let's subtract from the code 13. Because remember, uh, we have the dec uh, encoded co uh, string and we wanna decode it. So we go back 13 characters, but also we have to check. We have to check to make sure that we didn't pass capital A. So you could either look up what capital A is here, or if you're lazy like me, just declare a variable here. I'll say const a code, capital because it's a constant. And we will, I will just do capital A, a string, car code at zero to get the string version of that. And that will be my a code. So I will say if code is less than a code, then we just want to add 26 to it because there's 26 alphabets in the alphabet. So we're just going back to Z and then subtracting from there, right? So that should work. And once we have done that, now that our code is in the correct spot, we want to add it back, the string version of it, back to our output. So the way that we, we're going to do that is I'm going to do this. Output is plus equals. We're going to append to the output. We're going to use capital string dot from car code and the code that we're using is code. So this should work. Let's return the output and let's test it out on this one. I'm gonna console log the result of this. Let's see what we get. What is this code? It says O3 for uh, code camp. So I think I actually added this B just to show you guys. So let's get rid of that. And now it says free code camp. So it appears to work. Let's get this code including the constant up here, this function, paste it in here, run the test, and we pass. All right, guys, thank you so much for joining me again today. Today we did Caesar Cipher. We are going through the JavaScript algorithms and data structure projects. That's a long sentence. Uh, we're going through these right now. The next time we meet, we will do the telephone number validator. So guys, if you like my content, please click like. And if you dislike it, please click dislike and let me know in the comments below. And guys, uh, I'm always open to suggestions. If you guys want me to go through another of these stacks here, please let me know and I will try my best to do them. Uh, guys, subscribe to my content to see more coding videos like this. I release React tutorial videos, TypeScript tutorial videos, anything relating to coding. So guys, have a good one and happy coding.